off like the ridge kicker too. Don't be fooled. Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And I'm out here on Clark's Hill, and if you guys have watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that a shaky head is a must-have in my boat. I don't know the last time I got in my boat and went fishing without a shaky head tied on. So, having fished a shaky head so much, I feel I'm a bit of a uh, shaky head sommelier or a connoisseur, however you, you want to put that, whatever fancy words you want to throw in there. And... Uh, this shaky head from Five Bass Tackle and ALX Rods is called the Ridge Kicker. Now before I show it to you, I've tried all sorts of shaky heads, all right? I've tried the big names, I've tried the little mom and pop shops and everything in between. And I've been using this one for the last few months and I've gotta say it's impressive. Um, it does extremely well. It's held up to every test I've thrown at it so far. And like I said, I throw a shaky head an awful lot. So let's take a quick look at it. So this is the five bass tackle ridge kicker. So the head design on this ridge kicker is very unique. I've never seen another shaky head like it. It's got these ridges in the head both on the standing surface and on the sides. And what that allows to do is on a flat bottom, you know, gravel, sandy bottom, it's going to stand straight up just like a typical shaky head would. Now what the ridges on the side do and what the angle of the eye does is if you're kind of coming through different terrain, if it's rocky, if it's not an even bottom, um, it'll kind of roll around a little bit and then it'll always end up standing up again. Um, so it's got a very unique action. It, it almost rolls around like a little marble and so it, it gives a ton of action. It's definitely something the fish haven't seen quite as much. Um, just like the flat lock, we've got this center pin keeper here. Um, so again, that's going to put a lot less stress on your plastics. It's going to keep them nice and centered with the hook. It's going to be very easy to thread them on there super quick. That, that center pin really helps you get that worm on there, especially when it's really hot, really cold, your hands are sweaty, or you can't feel your fingers. You want to be able to thread that thing on there without fiddling with it for forever. Um, these also have um, a really good hook in them and uh, got variable sizes so um, these I've got three sixteenths and a quarter ounce there's some other variable sizes out there you've got multiple color choices these are kind of a brown bronze color you've got green pumpkin and you've got black as well um, so it's got you covered for uh, really all your shaky head needs um, this ridge kicker again super unique design um, I've really enjoyed throwing it I've caught a ton of fish on it um, and these hooks stay sharp, the paint stays on really well. All right, so we've talked about the Ridge Kicker, super cool shaky head, um, lots of unique things you can do with it. That unique rolling action is really gonna help you get some extra bites. What do you wanna pair it with? Now there's a ton of rods on the ALX lineup that you could pair it with. I've got it on a Soul 73, so this is kind of a just a perfect all round spinning rod. If you could only buy one spinning rod, this one can do pretty much anything you ask of it. Um, I like the 7.3 personally. Um, it's not too long that I can still flip and pitch with it, which I do a lot with my shaky heads, um, but it's also long enough that I can get those really good long casts and um, not lose my casting distance with a with a shorter rod. So I like the 7.3. Um, the seven's also um, perfectly good as well, kind of whatever you guys prefer on that. So the sole is gonna be a great option. Um, I will also pair the Ridge Kicker with an Enox Hunch. Now, um, that's a little bit different, obviously, in that the Hunch is a bait caster. Um, and so one of the things I love about the Ridge Kicker is its ability to come through cover. So I, as you guys have seen, I flip and pitch a shaky head a lot. Um, I flip it in some really nasty stuff, and this hunch um, gives me the ability to flip that shaky head in there, uh, but keep the efficiency and the power of a bait casting setup. 
I feel a little bit better. I can use a little bit heavier line and have a little bit stronger reel to get that fish up out of the cover. Um, and I just, I like the ease of use of a, of a bait caster. I can just keep flipping and pitching um, and not be opening a bale and stuff like that all the time. So Enox Hunch is gonna be a great option for a ridge kicker if you are looking for a bait casting shaky head rod. Um, this one's been great, super lightweight, super sensitive. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure I could feel like a butterfly fart on this thing. It is just exquisitely sensitive um, and I've I've really enjoyed it. You know, this is another rod that's got a ton of uses, but a shaky head, it's definitely a great rod for that. You'll feel very comfortable throwing any size shaky head. I've thrown 3 16 and a quarter on it, uh, all sorts of different worms, craws, everything. Um, it handles it really well. And then again, the Soul 73 is also gonna do well. I've, um, you know, commonly throw trick worms, senkos, um, you know, uh, a zoom, uh, ultra bias bead craw. There's tons of things you can put on this. Um, it's going to do well. Uh, typically line wise, whether it's on the bait caster or the spinning reel, I'm going to use anywhere from 10 to 15 pound fluorocarbon. Typically, um, on my spinning reel, I've got it, um, with a 20 pounds, braid backing to this is currently a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader um, and that's that's kind of my general I would say um, except for in the summertime when I'm flipping a shaky head and heavy cover with the with the Enox hunch um, or sometimes you know with a sole or, or whatever rod I'll if I'm really in that thick cover I'll bump up to a 15 pound just to give me that little bit extra um, but I tend not to go too heavy on line with a shaky head because I think you do um, somewhat diminish um, bites and then at the, the definite thing is you're going to struggle to get them out of that heavy cover sometimes with just 15. Um, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things if I'm, if it's too much for 15, then I'm probably not going to do a shaky head. I'm probably going to switch to a Tokyo rig or a jig or Texas rig, something like that. But anyways, um, that's another story for another day. So your 10 to 15 pound fluorocarbon is going to be great to, uh, throw this ridge kicker on. And then I've got that paired with a 6.2 to one gear ratio reel. Um, again, I love reels in the sixes. I think you can do pretty much anything with them. Um, so they're super versatile, which I enjoy, but I like a little bit faster paced spinning reel. You'll see a lot of spinning reels are in that four to five range. Um, and again, I want to be able to pick up this line pretty quick so I can drive the hook home, get this ridge kicker up in the roof of that, you know, big large mouth's uh, mouth and then, you know, bring them to the boat ready to go. So guys, if you haven't checked out this ridge kicker yet, I you really, really should um, go online at fivebasstackle.com. Give Alex a call. Uh, talk to him about it. Go to the shop. Check them out. Um, these are super cool shaky head. Uh, I'm not gonna throw. I'm not gonna be throwing any other type of shaky head. I can tell you that much. Um, this thing is extremely effective. Tons of different ways to use it. Um, so make sure you've got them in your boat. You're gonna want them, especially if you're on Clark's Hill, Lake Russell, Lake Murray, Lake Lanier, anywhere down here in the Southeast, they're gonna be clutch, but they're gonna catch fish all over the country. And uh, check out Five Bass Tackle and ALX Rods for everything you need to have the best shaky head set up of anybody on the lake. Y'all keep chasing them.
off like the ridge kicker too. Don't be fooled. Probably.